Can everybody hear me? Great. Okay, this evening I'm excited to tell you a little bit about Click IT, a groundbreaking business opportunity operating in the IT services space. Click IT is an emerging full format IT franchise whose products and services cut across typical industry distinctions such as home and office. At Click IT, we're transforming what's referred to as the managed service provider landscape uh, with an intuitive, uh, innovative, menu-driven service menu, or model, sorry. <laughs> As um, we're doing this uh, in a bricks and mortar format, and our stores essentially are enterprise-ready MSPs, if you know what that is, disguised as neighborhood retail shops. Who here knows what an MSP is? Managed service provider, excellent. So since 2012, we, we've perfected this model. It's a unique approach to the marketplace. Um, we're running our own store. We've been doing it since 2012 in a Cleveland suburb. And we have um, really proven this model. We uh, have grown our network of 2,500 satisfied customers in a very small neighborhood. So all together, Click IT's local, locally focused approach has changed the way IT services are packaged and delivered. We're productizing our services. So now we have over 100 productized services in 12 categories, making complex IT solutions uh, very manageable for the franchisees uh, and also easy to sell to the customers. So, um, number two here, the US IT services market for all of North America is uh, somewhere north of 600 billion. And because the market remains fragmented with hundreds of small participants, um, it's poised for a significant disruption. IT service customers are increasingly reliant on robust IT support. While we do service calls, we make computer repairs and help uh, residents with their technical issues. Our business model emphasizes building a portfolio of recurring revenue. As I heard you talk about recurring, it's so important, right? Um, our stores convey a trusting private and concierge style environment to an appreciative underserved clientele who have had to rely on inconsistent support from either an individual technician or the big box retailers, who by the way are remaining clueless about our business model. Our franchise offers a scalable investment suitable for both new and seasoned entrepreneurs. With advanced systems and proprietary backend, uh, pr proprietary backend, which we've developed, our franchisees are, are well equipped to excel in their local markets. So we'll provide a thorough, comprehensive training program. Uh, we have a full index of templates, uh, projection uh, spreadsheets, uh, marketing materials. Um, such as, uh, you can't see that, but it's a little postcard <laughs> of our recent opening of a store. So we're up to four stores now. We're new at this um, as far as franchising. Since we had started our store, we ran it for a long time before we decided to become a franchise. Um, so once you open your new store, uh, we continue with robust operational support. We have cutting edge marketing strategies, which we give our franchisees, including a full blown CRM used uh, to publish weekly newsletters, for instance, geared to engage and remind uh, your, your growing customer list uh, as you're developing it. So this is coupled with uh, an enriched, a continually enriched proprietary knowledge base. These are all elements that you need to run a real sophisticated, well-organized MSP. Um, so you're never going to walk alone, and we like to think of ourselves as business coaches, I heard that today too, uh, more so than a franchise. So when accepted and enrolled in our franchise candidacy program, you'll gain access for 30 days to a confidential, comprehensive discovery program 
that exemplifies our commitment to excellence and attention to detail. We're at time. Thank you. Um, I just want to say this as an owner, um, if you're interested, uh, you want to go to clickittest.com. This is where we have our franchise candidates go first to see if they qualify. And um, it's clickittest.com. And of course, I'm here to speak with anyone. Uh, I have a lot of business cards. <laughs> we'll send them a email. We'll email them. Oh, good, good. Uh, and I'm open for questions. Somewhere else. Way back there. Yeah. I can see a form of big, big time. Big time. <laughs> wait, wait. It's an easy question. Oh, yeah. Al, uh, thanks. Uh, just wondering if you could talk about the entry barriers. Uh, I mean, I'm, I don't know. A lot of people are doing your kind of uh, MSD, especially this uh, in the computer space. So, could you talk a bit about the entry barriers one would face uh, getting into it? Uh, so, by entry barriers, you mean like what the competition looks like? Right, exactly. Like why would uh, click it stores, like why would I want to franchise, would, like, could I also just run this kind of service on my own if somebody has an IT background? Um, well, so it really took uh, six years before we really f figured it all out and got to really where it's a smooth operating uh, organization and what to do and what not to do. I would highly recommend if you're technical and you want to get into the computer industry, business as an operational store or an MSP, that you do look at the franchising model because there's so much that you don't know how to run an operation. I mean, it goes more further than just your technical expertise. Um, we can teach technical, but it's the operational side of the business that's so difficult. And so, um, you're not going to find uh, 100 menued items uh, from M any MSP. We're, we're driving sales that way. You're not going to get the training and the know-how to how to go about and close a sale, for instance. We, we usually like sales-oriented people versus uh, technically-oriented people, to be honest with you. So, yes, time? <laughs> You're halfway through. Oh, okay, thank you. Another question, please? Anybody? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's your ideal customer avatar? What type of business and what's the contract right. value with that? Well? Good, good question. We like small and medium-sized businesses, so we usually aim at like 50 employees or less. So small, even though you have a retail space and you're, you're inviting your residential customers who surround your store to come into your store to get computer repair, bring your device and get it recycled, for instance. Once they discover all the things that you do, they tell their neighbors, you tell their friends who own businesses, and then pretty soon you're earning. Uh, it's that under 50 employee mark for us. It's really a sweet spot because the larger MSPs uh, are not really looking for the smaller businesses. This is not something that, that's not their wheelhouse. Just to follow up on that, so, with the movement towards cloud, like what services are you providing? Oh, we do data, data management, uh, complete. I mean, from, uh, I mean, everybody has their, their data they need to protect and manage. Uh, we'll do that. Um, we'll do backup services. Uh, a lot of uh, people have poor backup habits. And then we, a lot of email services. I mean, but uh, I think cloud is really uh, a, tr that transition from going, having your internal servers to the cloud, we help them make that transition. Given your brick and mortar um, thesis, what percent of your business is individuals versus companies? It's 50-50 uh, okay. because your, your businesses really are the larger part of the support, but you do have a lot of walk-ins. You have people who may not necessarily be running a business, but they're operating their their uh, IT from their home because they're working remotely for their businesses, and their their IT department sort of dropped. You know, they're uh, hey, look, you're you're on your own. You're you're in your house, so you have to manage it yourself. On your company side, are they signing one year contracts or um, monthly? We um, usually work month to month. Uh, we do have some customers, we'll call them our lighthouse customers, because what we like to do with our franchisees is to get them really working. You got to really work your neighborhood. It's a real, it's an interaction. It's a, it's a um, you know, it's a, it's the kind of a business that you're, 
you really have to just work your neighborhood and get to know your people and they come and eventually, you know, hey, I've seen your sign here for a year or two. I think it's time that I, you know, find out what you do and then pretty soon, you know, it travels. So I don't know if I'm explaining that well. I really like the way you explained it. <laughs> but I don't have a, I don't have a franchising, uh, you know, sales organization. So we pretty well do it all. Good? Just one last question. Just one last question. How do you limit the geography? Let's say I get something in franchising in Queens or, or Jersey. Oh. How, how mm -hmm. is my business limited or how flexible it is? We, we, uh, we give you a five to six mile radius around your business location where we help you find because we'll actually work with real estate, commercial real estate uh, people along with our own tools and we'll find the space with you. Uh, one thing, if you do get into franchising business and you need a brick and mortar, I will advise you do not talk about it with your friends in the neighborhood who talk to their commercial real estate brokers because you'll cost yourself thousands of dollars. So we have a lot of strategies that we work with with our franchise candidates and finding those locations. And then we give you a, a, a protected territory around that space. Okay. Thank you.